Hello, stampers. Thanks for joining me on this Wednesday evening. It's a beautiful night outside, and uh, that's the reason why I can join you here in my basement. <laughs> in my basement, it is quiet and calm, and that's because both kids are outside raking the lawn with Daddy. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make these couple cards tonight, as well as a few from the paper pumpkin that was, what was that last month? I can't even remember. Uh, every month and every day is like a week long. <laughs> every day is a week. Every month is a year. <laughs> All right. So the first one here, maybe that I'll show you is this one. And um, I'll just show you the suite that this is using. It's called Follow Your Art. And it's from our annual catalog, which many products are retiring from, including this suite. So this stamp set is really great. I just love it, especially as a demonstrator, because it gives you so many fun goodies. It gives you the spool of ribbon. We've got our re-inkers. We've got buffalo clips and buttons, some great sayings. This little shape here, which of course coordinates with our die there. We've got blender pens, or sorry, yeah, blender pens and stamp and write markers and watercolor pencils. We've got little rhinestones and the cutest little sayings, of course, to go along with it. So um, you could also bundle this, of course, and you'll save 10% by doing that. But actually, I think it's a better deal to get these products separate right now. And the reason for that is that the stamp set is regular price, but we've got 60% off these fabulous framelits. And these give you really fun little borders. You can make buttons out of paper. And these look really, really good because they actually um, emboss as well as cut. So you can't even really tell sometimes. So 60% off those framelits. Then you've got 60% off our adorable designer series paper. And then 40% off the embossing folder, which I'm using on these project, this one project as well. There we go. And 40% off the Follow Your Art embellishment kit. And I didn't grab that, but it's really cute. It's got some twine in it and some felt pieces as well. 40% off this washi tape too. So we've got lots of products that you want to get before they're gone. And this card features even more products that you want to get before they're gone so these are our five in colors which will be retiring this year so what Stampin' Up! does is bring out in colors for two years at a time so we've got our lovely lipstick grapefruit grove pineapple punch and call me clover as well as the beautiful blueberry bushel that are all retiring so that means cardstock ink pads refills grow green ribbon all of our designer series papers and um, buttons and ribbons as well. I think I already said the ribbons. Those were in the chart, sorry. So this card here is really easy to make. I just stamped uh, with this little reinker bottle in the five different colors and used the uh, die to cut it out. Then um, I did a little snip. I'm going to just pull my card apart here because I actually didn't prep an extra one to show you guys. That's kind of funny, isn't it? So on the back side here, I just put some snail and then cross the ribbons and then put some dimensionals on there to hold it on. And then you get that fun little pop of color down there. And you might be looking at these little splotches. And no, I didn't just freeform those. Those are from one of my favorite sets, especially for guys. This is called Geared Up Garage. When you come in, just please say hi. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. So Geared Up Garage has this fun little, I don't know, oil splatter. And so I used that in the five different colors and just freeformed it. And I rotated it up and down, up and down so that we could get that look. So that's a really fun and easy card to put together. This one here is also really simple and it just pops this designer series paper right out. So there are so many colors of this designer series paper. I wanted to make it neutral for whichever pattern that you happen to have. Um, starting with the cardstock base, I just use Whisper White. I love white. It's so versatile to go with everything. So just fold that in half there. And if you ever get a kit from me or a project from me that happens to include one of these envelopes make sure you save it because these are totally mailable envelopes you want to use those and give your postal worker a treat as well 
So I'm going to use, oh, how does one decide? Oh, which one would you use? The scissors, let's do scissors. A little bit of a different look. So we'll put those on there with some snail. This one's really easy to put together. I just put this um, ribbon on with a bit of snail as well. I'm just going to loosely put it on there and then trim it to size. I've got the little angle going a different way, but that's okay. Not a problem. There we go. So that cute little ribbon adds a little pop of color. I've got Let's Stay Up Late and Craft. I thought this card was going to be perfect for sending to a fellow stamper who you want to make an online crafting date with. Hi, Vivian. It's good to see you. So if you just pop this one on, oh, you know what? I put this one on first with some dimensionals. That's what I did. So just four on the back there. I love the colors of this designer series paper. So bright and cheery and happy. Let's put that on there. Then we can put this on here like this. I might have to finesse this a little bit. I might go back and move this ribbon up a little bit too. And then the final finishing touch of this is to add on some little colored pearls. Now you can definitely color your own pearls. They're very easy to do. All you take are our pearl basic jewels and any of our Stampin' Blends markers and you can color those. I actually use a different pro product on this, but I want to show you how you can do it at home too. So just take your brush tip and then you can color it. And then can you guys see that? Because these are alcohol markers, they're just kind of like a Sharpie. So that color is not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay right on there. So that's how you get the look of this. The product that I actually used are um, actually retired, but I have a bunch in my retired sale. So if you want a pack of these, they come pre-colored and some really adorable colors. They're, they're Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. And um, those are available for $5 for a pack. And how many come in here? I don't know, a million. hundred. Pretty much the same. <laughs> so we'll just stick those on there, kind of ready to go, so that I don't lose them. I'm notorious for that. I'm going to put the third one down here. My proportions are a little bit off. That's what happens, right? So then to color these little spools, then you can choose whatever colors that you want. If you would like to recreate what I've done here on my sample card, you would want to use some of these colors here. So I actually use the light Bermuda Bay, and that's to get the look of the Coastal Cabana when I use it in conjunction with my color lifter. I used the Not Quite Navy, actually. Sorry, Not Quite Navy. What year is it? <laughs> Night of Navy. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> That's a retired color. Night of Navy is what I used for this bottom ribbon color here. And then I used the Daffodil Delight for those yellow pops. And Dark Smoky Slate and Light Smoky Slate. I'm using the pairs of them here when I'm only just saying one here. That's what I mean, a pair. So light smoky slate, dark smoky slate, and then of course we've got our Calypso Coral and that's what's going to make that beautiful pop of color. So just showing you how I color, there are a few different techniques on doing this. I kind of like the express version. So I just go in with dark and then add where I want my shadow to be. There we go, put more of a shadow there. And then I'm going to go over top of it with the light afterwards. This can be quite loose at this point because I'm going to go over top of it in a second here with the light. Now some people start with the light and then go to the dark and then come back to the light. I find that to be just a little too labor intensive for what I'm in for. At any moment, there could be a three-year-old who comes down the stairs and my crafting time is over, right? <laughs> so um, I really like using just the two colors 
And of course you can go back and use the color lifter. You can scribble more with these markers and keep going over it. And that just keeps moving the color around even more. Now I have a little bit where I went over the line. That's where you also really want this color lifter because you can go in there and you can just kind of blend away that color a little bit. That's what I used for this part right here on the top of the ribbon spool. So I'll show you what I did. I did the darkest smoky slate, just kind of around the edge there. And then down here at the bottom, I did a fair bit of it. So it was a little bit more shaded down there, right? And then I can go back and scribble with the light over top. Now you can use your designer series paper as kind of a guideline for some coloring ideas or just make up your own. There's, there's no wrong way to color these, right? So right where the transition happens from light to dark, I'm going to color a little bit more to just blend that even more. The two tips are really handy for this because for some of these fine pieces, you just want that really firm tip. Okay, so you can see this one here started out looking exactly like that. And the difference between those two is the color lifter. So I'm going to go back in and just add that highlight. I know some people are good at restraining their coloring. They can do a really good job of holding back and not coloring in white the whole thing. That is not a skill that I possess. <laughs> I like to color the whole thing and then if I need to lighten it, I do that. So we'll just let it work its magic here as we put together the rest of the card. So I'm not going to color in the rest of that. I think you guys get the gist of how to color it. I've lost my big dimensionals now. I swear somebody's here and just sabotaging me, but it's actually just me sabotaging myself. <laughs> Do you find that too when you're stamping yourself? Oh, little ones sometimes I can't get off. There we go. So now we can just pop that on there. And you've got your cute, adorable card. Imagine it's all colored in and looking so pretty. Yay, hooray! So those are the two cards there, but I wanted to show you just a little bit more. So stay with me here. And I'm going to show you these cards here. These are really beautiful and I think timely cards that came in our paper pumpkin kit and it comes with envelopes too. So you get 12 cards, four of each of three designs and there are these adorable patterns with the boots. Now in this kit, which I have refills of, so if you want one you just let me know. When you open it up we've got our beautiful little present package that we get to open. Oh, this one's upside down. That's never happened before. So no matter the weather is what this is called. And in the refill kits, um, we have all kinds of goodies in there. Now it doesn't come with the ink pad or the stamp set. In this case, there were two stamp sets that came because this was an anniversary kit but this is half the price of our regular kit and you still get to make all the projects. And in the stamp set, you get some clouds and you get some spots to do this ground here. You get some raindrops and then of course you get some really cute sayings. But I wanted to show you this because you can actually pair this along with any saying stamp that set that you have, but um, you don't actually need the other stamps to create these cards. So this one here is created with no stamping on the bottom, just the saying is stamped. So if you have a saying, and I'll bet that you do, that would fit inside of here, then you can make this adorable little card. Again, these are all die cuts, and you just pop them up with some dimensionals and put the card together, as well as these cute little epoxy raindrops, which are adorable in person. So really adorable cute little card and an, a great um i think message for this time of year so let love grow again do you have a saying that's going to fit in there i bet you do 
So if you do, then just consider this because I've got a whole bunch of these kits on hand. I knew they were going to be really popular, so I stocked up on a bunch of them. And um, you can pick one up for just $15. That includes shipping and GST if you pick it up from my house. This one here has little epoxy circles on there. And again, adhesive, sorry, these are just die cuts that you stick on with adhesives. And you just stamp your saying in there. So I'm sure you have a saying that will fit. This one features a saying that fits into a die that they have cut out for you. And again, you've got those little epoxy raindrops. No stamping other than the saying. So you can make these beautiful cards yourself. And I just love how they, go, they come together so quickly and easily. So in your kit, you'll get dimensionals, all of the envelopes. These are the card bases. You've got the die cuts. And you got many sheets of those, four sheets of those. Then these are some more card bases. And then the last card base is there too. Aren't they cute, Sharon? I agree. The last thing that they have here for paper are these cute little tags. And I love that they give you an extra one too, because maybe they know that we're going to oops one of them. Does that happen to you? It definitely happens to me. <laughs> So included in here are the instructions. You'll also get some cute baker's twine, those epoxy droplets and circles, and then even some glue dots there too. So really, you, all you need is a stamp set that's going to fit into these shapes. And you'll need, well, I guess a bit of snail adhesive or tape runner of some sort. That's going to complete your kit. Okay, so that's a really, really fun idea and a fun idea for you to give as a gift too. If you have somebody who you know has a stamp set that's going to fit into those, you can give them a little gift for just $15. They can make 12 cards. What a great deal. And you can even make them together and do like a video chat or something like that. How fun. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you is a class that I'm so excited about. I just finished the cutting and many of the kits actually um, the other night, but this is our Everything is Rosy suite. Now, I don't know if you guys even saw this when it came out. Everything is Rosy comes with a suite of products that all go together, and these products are not available individually. They're only available in this suite. Now this suite is currently on the clearance rack and that's what allowed me to develop this class for rock bottom prices for you. And I'm talking rock bottom. This is over $200 value that you're going to get in terms of products and 20 cards that you can create. So 20 cards, $145 worth of product, so a total value of well over $200, and you're only paying $85. So this kit is going to be amazing for you to give a jump start on the design as well as what you can do with this, these products afterwards. So this Everything is Rosy stamp set. I love that it comes in the actual case, so it looks beautiful on our shelf. We get a beautiful photopolymer set. It even comes with dies that go along with it. So these are exclusive dies, like I said, that cut out the flowers and the leaves and things like that. This is also an incredible border, which looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. Do you guys want just a sneak, sneak peek? I haven't even got the embellishments on here, but I want to show you this border. Sneak peek. Look at it there. Isn't it stunning? And it just cuts it out like butter. It's so beautiful. Okay, so those are the dies that come in this suite as well. You get two full spools of ribbon, and I'm talking 10 yards of each of these. So we've got the Melon Mambo Ruched, as well as this gorgeous satin ribbon. And all of this is featuring rose gold. That's the theme of this. That's why it's called Everything is Rosy. So we've got rose gold stitching on the side of that satin, satin ribbon. That's um, Knight of Navy. We also get an exclusive rose gold shimmer paint. So this, I'm going to be teaching you all different kinds of techniques on how to use this in this class. So this is another perk. 
In the kit, you also get a whole bunch of die cut pieces. So some of them, and I've used, this is just the leftovers. So uh, they've got the rose gold foil on them. Some of them are flowers. Some of them have just um, the printed flowers on there and they're all just ready to be popped out and put onto your projects. So that makes our projects so much easier as well. And what else, I'm missing something. Oh, the first thing that I brought out, that's hilarious. Of course, this designer series paper and rose gold foil. So let's go through all of these patterns. So these all feature the rose gold on them and that's the navy background. Then we've got the backside which has stripes on it. This one's really fun. Melon Mambo. And then with a cute background. This one's like if you took a paintbrush and then you did some rose gold gilding. Mmm, beautiful. Marbling. So I want to mention as well, not all of the cards in this kit are flowery and cutesy. I definitely have some masculine looking ones as well out of the 20 cards. You're going to be making two of each of 10 designs. There we've got those cute little flowers. And again, more beautiful patterns. And you're not getting just one sheet of each of these six by six papers. You're actually getting, I think, eight of each of them. And your kit will come with all of them cut perfectly so that you can make your 20 cards. And then the last thing that you get eight of is this amazing foil paper that's in the rose gold color too. So really, really a great kit. Now, if you don't have a whole bunch of supplies at home, you will need a few different things for my add-on, which is for the rose gold shimmer paint. And so for $15, you can get a little bundle that I'm putting together of tools that coordinate. One is a blender pen. One is an um, spritzing tool. And then you can have a little ink spot, which I can re-ink with the Knight of Navy ink so that you have a little ink spot to complete your products. And then also a sponge dauber. And this is a little sponge that just fits onto our finger and then we can apply the shimmer paint and a whole bunch of techniques. So this is kind of an everything in one class. It's a ton of projects, it's products. You get $145 worth of products that are exclusive to this kit. And you also get a technique tutorial. So I know you're going to love this ink or this, um, they call it ink on here, but it's uh, shimmer paint. And I know you're going to love playing with it as soon as you learn how to use it. So if you are interested in that, I'm taking email money transfers and then you can pick it up from my house in South Edmonton. I only have a few kits left that are going to be ready for Friday. So let me know if you want one of those kits. And um, if you're not in a rush, definitely still get your order in because I've got limited quantities on hand and then I can get it ready for you whenever you're able to come. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. I can't believe that I wasn't even interrupted once, not even by a little toddler sneaking down the stairs. Hooray, how exciting. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.